The Mental Health Awareness Committee is incredibly important for those who are suffering from mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, and alcoholism, and also those who don't suffer but perhaps would benefit from a better understanding of the diseases and so we can reduce the stigma overall of mental health disorders. Also the screenings that we provide which are for anxiety, alcoholism, and depression, they can help enable earlier intervention for those who are suffering from mental health disorders but perhaps might not have been fully diagnosed yet. One of our biggest accomplishments this year was being able to start screening patients. We will be screening patients at the Medicare events that will be occurring at the beginning of this uh, year. We're going to be able to screen patients in Vietnamese, Spanish, Mandarin, and English, so there will be four languages available so we can target a larger group of patients. Mental health illnesses do vary across ages, and because of that we have the depression screenings, the anxiety screenings, as well as the alcoholism screenings, and this will help us target a wide variety of patients. So my favorite memory with the Mental Health Awareness Committee is just how personal the interactions you have are with the patients whenever you're out at health fairs. They confide in you with their personal emotional stories um, from their experience with drug rehab to just feeling alone in this world with the issues that are going on with them. And it is nice to be a part of this committee to provide a service to the community to give them at least a person to listen to. For a lot of these patients that are out in the community just want someone to know what they are going through and they want some support and we can give that to them through what we do uh, through IMPACT. Each year, Mental Health Awareness Committee hosts various events in support of Dana Foundation's Brain Awareness Week. This past year, we had class presentations on depression by our second year project managers, Tiffany Pan and Jared Dunn. Um, in addition, we had tables outside of the University Center displaying 10 different educational posters um, that we shared with the general public. Not only did we want to educate the public, but we also wanted to bring awareness onto our campus. And in our efforts to do so, we had a guest speaker, Dr. Michael Rice, come in and actually talk about the history of psychiatric pharmacy.